Howdy and welcome back to Berserker Shop. Today on the channel we're going to be changing the transmission fluid in a 2012 Chevy Silverado. This bit of maintenance we're going to be doing today is also going to be the same basically on Cadillac, GMC, Tahoe's, basically any Chevrolet GM product that has this uh, style of setup. They've all got the same chassis underneath them. Granted there's one or two different types of transmissions, but Regardless, the process is going to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that and see what we get into. Going up. First, you want to get you something to drain it in, obviously. You're not going to want that going on the ground. Go ahead and see what it takes. Got two 10 mil bolts on this heat shield. Probably go ahead and get that out of the way. Nice and easy to remove. This is one of my favorite parts of you know working under cars is when there's all this water just dripping down the back of your neck. That's some of the most fun times that I have. Let's see, those look like about a 13. Sure are. So what I like to do is I loosen the corners, but I leave them just a couple threads out. That way the pan doesn't just drop down on me. And then I'll go ahead and completely take out all the other bolts. stuck up there like they usually are. I'm going to go ahead and get that pan back under. Because it's very easy to make a mess doing this job. After we get the 742 volts out, we'll move on. Right in the front, just like I wanted. That's why I left the corner bolts in. And I left these a little bit tighter back here. That way the front would drop first. And so far, nothing on the floor, so that's pretty good. Definitely not going to complain about that. Now we go ahead, loosen up these front bolts a little more, let her continue draining. Go ahead and get that one out of there. Here's where we might get into a mess, but it's all part of it. Yeah. That's 
that's what I'm talking about. Pull it down too quick, it's just gonna splash everywhere. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen each of these back bolts just a hair more. I think that's about all it's going to drip, so we're going to have to go ahead and pull these other two bolts and go ahead and get that pan out of Hope there. Hope the view's all right. I don't know how well the lighting is. It's probably not all that great, but hey, we're making do with what we got for right now. All right, now here's where we're going to get messy, possibly. Tip the pan that way to get around this bracket. Need to hold it up so it doesn't just drop down. Get this bolt out of there. Set our stuff to the side. Get ready for fun. <laughs> I'm a dummy. There's still a bolt left. So I guess we better get that one out of there, huh? Sometimes they hide them on you. I'd really enjoy it. If this wasn't in my way, let's see what we can do. Everything's good and slippery when you get your hands soaked in trans fluid. It's lovely. Makes your job a lot easier. Well, I guess we need a swivel. You do what you gotta do. Not that I can get this shit off with all this fluid on my hands. Ah, the swivel. One of my favorite tools. Since this one's so hard to get to, I'm going to go ahead and throw my tools down, apparently. Oh, yeah, that transmission fluid is perfectly good on that. Oh, there's my socket. Now it won't rust anyway. Rust prevention, very important in the Midwest. There we go. Won't get her licked yet. Maybe. Well, this bracket here is kind of being a pain to me. So, let's see if we can roll her out of the way. Bust my head on everything we'll find. There we go. All right. We got a T40, get those two bolts out of there. Okay, let's get a better ratchet. I love my Matco extended handle flex head. This thing comes in very handy. If the handle ain't too long, that is. Come on, there you go. Okay, maybe there you don't go. We'd pretty much be done if it wasn't for these two little fucking bolts up here. It'd be over. Well, you're not qualified. Back to the other inch. See how she does. Guess I'm not great. Don't make a lot of sense. It goes in, but whatever. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can just squeeze around it, I guess. Wasting enough time. Uh oh, she's coming. We gotta be close, if not out. Yeah. There we go. Wasted all that time. And what for? Pretty much nothing. So now, hold the pan up. Get that other bolt out that we put back in. And then 
and slowly let it down the drain. It's best to just hold it and let it do its thing until it stops and then you can pull and tilt some more. I'd say she's a little wore out, but she can definitely oh, use it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're going to stay on that bracket. Oh, you There. Now, come on. It's not going to be fun to go back in. As if I can get you out to begin with. She ain't happy. Yeah, we're just catching on this shifter cable here. That's lovely. Let's see if we can persuade it to do what we want. Close. Well, I was hopeful we were going to get away without taking that off. Not to say you can't, but you seem to be wasting a lot of time trying to get around it. Where the hell my torques go? use the right tool to begin with. Electric ratchet. It's a lifesaver. It's just a matter of being able to fit it where you need it. That's the only issue. thing is, I have all these bolts out, so when I drop that other bolt, there's a good chance that this pan is just going to fall and make a hell of a mess right on my face. I sure hope not. It's only those two bolts, and this will pull right out of the way. <laughs> Looky there. Look how easy that was. She's definitely a little dirty. She needs it. Huh. I got two magnets. So now what we'll do is we'll just let this sit here and drain for a minute. Get ready to clean that up. Ceiling surface, everything looks good. Wipe it down. All right, everything looks good. We'll get you a close up of that here in a minute when I don't have tranny fluid all over me. Here's our filter. It looks to be just a set in filter, no screw. We'll go ahead and get that out of there. Just grab a hold. Make sure there's nothing holding it down. It'll have, as you can see, it's moving. Well, you might not be able to see it very well, but just like that. This just slides up into the transmission. You just pull it straight down. Wiggle it a little if you have to. I always feel better when I get that transmission fluid off my hands. I hate that. I don't like lotions and that. Not really a lotion, but 
It sure makes you greasy as hell. So here's a little bit better of a shot of your transmission. Filter goes right up in there. That little nipple I showed you just slides right up in there. Holds itself up, so we're going to get the new filter out. Push her on up in there, and then all we got to do is put the gasket on and the pan back on, zip the bolts in, put fluid in it, and we're done. The engineering in these things baffle me. Hopefully this is a little better shot for you. As you see, we got our brand new filter here. This piece right here, you just slide right up into there. Felt it clip in a little bit. Holding itself up, make sure you're good and seated. Ain't just gonna fall out, give it a little bit of a tug. All right. Now we're gonna clean that pan out, clean the magnets off, and start going back together with it. That's what we're gonna do here. Pull this old gasket off. Make sure our ceiling surface is good and clean. It looks like it is, but we go ahead and wipe it down. Make sure there's no nicks. Make sure everything feels all right. Oh yeah. She's good. You got magnets in here. All this, that's metal. Small metal shavings. Got to clean those off. This one actually has two. They typically only have one. Just get it good and cleaned off with a rag the best you can. And make sure you wipe off where it sits. Get any residual out of there. one back. Go ahead and pull the second one, do the same. Get it good and clean. Set it to the side for right now. Show you the inside of the pan. Cleaned off that magnet and we're about to put the other magnet back right there. You can see where it goes. It's got these little notches that it sets inside. If you can, it's good to have a parts cleaner. Clean this out, at least spray some brake clean in it. Get that good and clean. Go ahead and put this magnet back in, just like that. Give it a little spritz, wash her out. I love the smell of brake clean. That'll do, look how shiny and nice she is. Oh yeah, nice and dry in there now. Now, make one last check, wipe down the surface of the pan. I'm going to grab the gasket. Also going to go ahead and one more wipe along here. Man, is it nice to have that bracket out of the way. I mean, I kind of had to, but either way, definitely going to go back together a lot easier because of it. Now that we've got it mostly into place, we have to get at least a few bolts, get them pushed through, and make sure that they go through the seal as well. That's what's going to hold your seal in, which will also hold your bolt up here for you. It actually probably would have been smarter and better to do it while I had it on the bench, get all these bolts in. But hey, that's what we're here for. We're learning. You learn something new every day. If you didn't, you pretty much wasted your day. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, actually, just to make it easier on me. It slides on in and out real nice now. Now that I've done things the non-remedial way, put all these bolts in to hold the gasket in there, this should go real nice and easy. I'll just slip her in here. Gotta line our bolt holes up and get them started. Gotta make sure we pull our linkage out of the way that we took loose. And just like that, now we can get this pan out of our way, this drain pan. 
because it has been in the way the whole time. But no more! You know, it's so nice having that out of the way. So much more room for activities. All right, we've got a couple bolts started now. Now we just got to go around and get all of them started. I would get at least three or four threads per before you start tightening anything because you want everything to be lined up. And when you think you've got every single bolt started, you go back around and check again because if you miss one and you just hammer it down, that's going to be a bad time. Now start snugging her up real nice and slow, make sure everything goes even. snug and sitting up tight against the transmission all the way around we're gonna go through and snug them up We're going to put our shields back, get some fluid in it, and move on. That's your heat shield that you removed. Two 10 mils back in. Good and tight. Now we get our T40. That's what's holding on your bracket here that's going to get in your way for your steer or your uh, shift linkage. So now we're going to put this back through the hole, lift it back into place. Again, get your bolts or screws started. At least three or four tre treads. <laughs> treads. At least three or four threads, but I like to just go as far as I can go with my hand. Now that they're pretty much all the way down, pop your T40 back onto your handy dandy electric tool or whatever you have. This is going to be the easiest. Maneuver it up into place where you got access. She's all wrapped up. Oh, so clean, oh, so shiny. Ow, right in the eye. All right, let's get some fluid in her. Capacity says about five quarts for a change. We got a gallon here, which I'm pretty sure is four quarts. Yeah, four quarts. We're going to start with four quarts. And we'll move on from there. I don't even know why I'm using a funnel. I could hit that little hole way back there. That's how good I am. Go ahead and get this here funnel out of the way. Stick our stick in. And 
then what we're going to do is we're going to start the vehicle and we're going to run it through the gears. Get that transmission fluid up in there and pumping around and doing what it does. And then we'll let it run for a few minutes, do that a couple times, and then we'll check it, see where our level is. Now we're going to check our transmission fluid level with it running in part. Get our stick washed off. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but you got a cold line and a hot line. We're kind of in between, so we're going to want to see our level at least in this area. I don't know what we're yelling about! I'm going to go ahead and let it warm on up for a little bit. Make sure we get an accurate reading. I'm going to check the pool up again. Let's see where we're at. We are just barely above the cold. But we should be about warm, so I think we're going to have to add at least another half quart. It says it takes five, but I don't want to have to take any back now. All right, it is official. We are up to operating temperature. We're still on the cold, so we're going to throw a half quart in. See where that gets us. Probably going to take the whole quart, but I don't want to have to drain any of it back out if we get it a little too full. So. Let that drain down out of the tube for a second before you go checking it. it makes for a more accurate reading. My arm fat jiggling. Yep. Do what we get. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're right at the bottom of hot. See, that's why I didn't put the whole thing in. We're going to wait another minute while this carbon monoxide continues to fill the shop and make me sleepy. I am starting to get a little labored breathing. Probably not a good idea. We'll be done soon enough. Get some Point. fresh air. So actually it took four and three quarters quarts, not five. But they're all going to be different. It'll depend on how long you let it sit there and drain. Spot on. All right, now I'm going to turn this truck off before I kill myself with carbon monoxide, get a little fresh air, and then we're going to take it on a test drive, come back, give it one last check, ship it down the road. The camera is not mounted, so there's a chance you might end up in the floorboard. But I'm fine with it. It'll be okay. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying the channel. I appreciate it. If you hit that like, subscribe. There you went. Told you. Well, we're on our test drive and she seems to be doing real well. We're going to get back to the shop. We're going to check the fluid level just to make sure it is still full. Then we're going to get this truck back to the customer and move on with our lives. I really enjoyed this the, this project. It was so fun. Oh Funnily enough, my first video that I made that I put on pissing soft people off, I did that same thing. I said, I'm lying. And oddly enough, I'm literally on a test drive in the exact same spot that I was last time I did that. Kind of weird. I appreciate y'all checking the channel out. We're going to get back to the shop, double check the transmission. If it's good, well, we'll call her done, move on. All right, we're back at the shop. I'm not going to bother with pulling it back in, wasting the heat. So we're just going to check this outside, see where we're at. And if it's good, we're going to let the customer have it. Okay. Nice and cold out. We're definitely up to temperature now. So we should be. Oh. Oh. I don't know how well you can see that, but that is spot on. Perfect. Just like me. Well, that was the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give me a like and a subscribe if you don't mind, if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. It'll really help the channel. And I hope to see you next time here on Berserker Shop. Have a good one.